Sometimes when working with equations, you can come across some very interesting examples. One of those interesting examples is when you're solving an equation and it happens not to have a solution whatsoever. We're going to cover a linear equation, which is uh, just one of those cases. So looking at my linear equation, uh, usually it's not obvious whether these things have a solution or not. When we get to the solving process, you'll see exactly what happens. So I'm going to solve this like I would normally solve a linear equation. I'm going to work to get my x's together, then isolate it. I can see that uh, maybe I can distribute this 10 and maybe combine the 4 and the negative 8 on the end. Let's see how this helps me out. So 10 x plus 10 minus 2x equals 8x plus 2 times a negative 4. Okay, looking pretty good. I can see a few terms in there that we'll go ahead and combine, like maybe this 10x and this minus 2. So it'll give us 10 plus 8x. And here I have 8x minus 8. Alright, now if you're looking at what we have, uh, you might get a heads up as to what will happen. Normally, I need to get my x's together, and so I'd subtract an 8x from both sides. When I do that here, something interesting happens. Since both sides have an 8x, it's completely gone. Now, when you eliminate all of the variables like that, you should get a clue that something fishy is going on. Since I've eliminated my x's, this final statement gives me a lot of information about my solutions. When I look at it, 10 equals negative 8, I can see that it's a completely false statement. 10 is definitely not equal to negative 8. And if I double check the uh, steps that I've gone through, you know, I haven't made any mistakes. So in cases where you uh, drop out the variables entirely and you're left with a false statement, this is your clue that you have no solutions to the uh, linear equation. Another thing that you could call this equation is you could call it a contradiction. It means that no matter what value you plug in for x, this equation will never be true. So be on the watch out for those false statements to come up. If they do, check your work first, and if it all looks fine, then you know you have no solution.